okay good evening guys so welcome back to the cool graphic design training i believe we're doing great today so right now i want to i'll show you how you can use this metal markup which i just uh discovered so i want to teach you how you can use it step by steps on your android smartphone or any kind of a smartphone so i um, will teach you how you can use uh uh or uh, transform your logo using this photo p the first thing you need to do is extract the markup so let me show you let's assume you download your markup then this is the how the markup will look like meta markup so you tap on it even if you see so see the link at the description once you tap on it you must have this application called z archiver so once you download the z archiver first that then download the markup at the description then go to the download area here where you will see it meta mockup here yeah, this one see this one i mark so once you tap it that z archiver which you downloaded will pop up then you can tap on it and you use it this is how the mockup look like another way to identify the mockup it must end with dot psd that is the mockup extension dot psd it shows that that is the mockup extension once you see dot psd because at time you might open a mock-up like that and it will, that's why they call it mock-up file a lot of uh, a lot of files will be inside which you need to but you need to extract just the psd file alone and how are you going to identify that you should know the file extension for psd file that is dot psd then you tap on it it asks you to extract then after that it asks you where are you extracting it to so I want to extract it here under telegram and I've extracted it before but I want to show you how it's been done after that you can now go back to your photo p reload it <coughs> after that tap on the open from computer and then tap here when you have that markup then you are going to bring it in now you see it's loading now when you open it this is the trick I want to teach you you discover that every everything is empty. He's already opened the layer, but it's not open the layer. He hide the old mockup. Old mockup is being hidden. Tap on it. <coughs> then you see the eye icon beside it will, will be on fade. Then go and look at it. This is the marker. <coughs> Excuse. So after when you see this is the preview, you will now go and open the mockup by click the drop down layer here arrow you see your design here double tap then all the font that was used was here hide everything tap on the layer to be back now you must have uh make your logo you must have designed that and keep it okay this is not where i'm going sorry open and place so you must save your logo with transparent background then we are going to position it now you can increase it depends on how you want it so uh increase it just don't let it exceed this particular layer after that go to the file and click on save with smart object then be looking at the screen you will see smart object updated when you see that it shows that you are using the right markup then the next thing you need to do is to be looking but you need to do something to make it fast because at time if it transform you might not know what you are going to do is to tap on this which is the meta markup then you can see the result everything come out you see everything came out wow now we need to just adjust some things there to make it okay so we'll go to the shadow so let me hide it and be checking for us to see so we we'll look at the shadow well let hide the light okay Gaussian block, let's hide it.
so fine what i was just doing i'm trying to see but you don't need to pass through uh, all these shreds what you just need to do you see when you make it this is how it will look but this is not really presentable because of the shadow is too much and the shadow is not even black it's white just go to the shadow the whole file just hide it you understand when you do that click on this light <clears throat> so let's look at how it is now it's cool so we can just remove the gosha blur <clears throat> now we are we are making sense and this is cool then we look at a uh, smart fitter let's look at that if we hide it so i want to make it look good so you can hide that let's look at the drop down shadow hide it we'll look at it so this is 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 making sense but we need to bring that let's hide the color valley and let's see the color valley whether we will get the result so the color valley now it gives us exactly what we want and you can easily read it and everything is properly laid when you look at it so this is cool anyway so we can go back to the whole main layer now while we go to the file go to the export and click on png so everything seems to be okay click on save so go to the adverts then you click on continue trapped me so automatically you see downloaded so left view then you can see the results save it so this is cool right so i believe we all learn how to use this another layer that is how to open a layer you can just uh modify the content and you so it suits your own desired taste and the rest will be simple thank for watching god bless you